Welcome back to Terraria Hardcore. Woo! Hardcore. That was a horrible intro, but hardcore. Oh, dang. I feel prepared. Even then, um, I'm not that far off. Oh, gosh. Okay. Why am I scared now? <laughs> Maybe I'm not gonna fight this episode. Okay, uh... Yeah, this is scary. Ugh, let's do this! Let's do this. Okay, where is he? Okay, he's over here on the map. Okay, there he is. Oh, I got him. Yeah, shuriken. This is the old way. The old-fashioned way. Oh, he moves really slowly. That's good. There's throwing an ice blade here and there. Good thing he moves pretty slowly first phase. Yeah, I got him. Okay, get those minions out. No, don't throw my glow sticks. I need those glow sticks. It's pretty much a uh, focus fire with these shurikens because they go right through the minions. And they can fall back on him. So it just does a lot of damage and then move out the way. And just keep firing with your golden bow. Yeah, this is what I did back before wooden armor. And I just did this with nothing. So yeah, keep focus firing with these shurikens. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, well, I almost got hit by that guy. Oh. I like how they kind of fall back, too. Am I going to do this without taking damage? Oh, probably not, probably not, probably not. Oh, I, I already took damage. <laughs> I was like, am I, am I going to do this without taking damage? Immediately takes damage from one of the servants. Uh, I should have, uh, I should have thought it was going to continue longer. That first minion's the worst one. Yeah, the second phase, though, that's going to be really stressful. Oh, speaking of second phase. There's second phase. So, the goal of second phase is to not get hit by these charging attacks. Good thing they're pretty slow, actually. I can avoid them. Usually I go in, like, a triangle kind of pattern to avoid them. But yeah, I'm going to definitely beat this eye. You're mine, Mr. Cthulhu's eye. Okay, this is a bad situation right here. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, that's definitely a bad situation. I might get hit by... Okay, I didn't get hit by the charger. That's good. Didn't get hit by him. So now... Duck. You want him going at, like, one angle because he commits to that angle. So, like, if he goes at this angle, then you just kind of dodge out of the way. Then you dodge out of the way. Moving up is harder than moving down when, he's, when it comes to this. Yeah, I got him. I'm not even sure if he's going to charge again. Yep, I got him. First boss done already. Man, I already killed the Eye of Cthulhu. But the the reason why I want to kill the Eye of Cthulhu right now, first of all, is to like test how good I am right now. And second, when I fight the Eater of Worlds pretty soon, I'll have these unholy arrows. And I think once you get them... I'm pretty sure, like, I'm not sh once you get them, then you can kind of work your way around the, uh, the guy, other guy. Now that I have all these demonite bars, another thing that's good for this fight is that you collect demonite bars. And with these demonite bars, ooh, malice, it's 12 plus 8, oh, I have enough, I have enough, I have enough for, uh, new yo-yo too, because I don't need that, I already have good... Oh, wow, I got a new yo-yo as well. That's really good. Screw you, wooden yo-yo. I got a malice now. Whee! Now I'm ultra good. Yeah, that's why, uh... That's why I like this, uh, I Cthulhu fight so much. Because, or, like, that's why it's, I need to do it now. Now what I'm gonna do is... One of the most dangerous parts of the... Not the most dangerous, but one... But pretty dangerous part of the hardcore... The corruption. First time going to the corruption. Because first of all, we got those giant pitfalls. And second of all, we got pretty dangerous enemies. If a worm shows up, good thing I have, uh... Things like these unholy arrows and stuff like that. Because if a worm shows up, that's pretty dangerous. That's a really dangerous situation. Be gone, Mr. I. I already beat your older brother. It's a really dangerous situation when a worm shows up. Oh, well, that's the that first guy. First guy I found. Okay, rotten chunk already. One out of 15. Because, because I'm doing a hardcore run, I want... Oh, oh, ooh! 
because I'm doing a hardcore one, what I, run, what I want to do is make sure that I'm not breaking any shadow orbs. Because that's I don't really need to do that for my first time by fighting, and I also want to make sure that if I'm in a close space with all these enemies, I have some good defense. But right now I'm in a pretty open space with this with this uh, ice blade. Okay. Oh, I almost got hit by that corruption guy. Just trying to store an episode is difficult. Yeah, I still need to zoom in on the screen. <laughs> that's that's the great thing about working with a uh, with no uh, screen recording software. That's good. Pretty much what I'm doing right now is wishing. First of all, passing the corruption, because this is not a good one. It has no vile, flower, vile mushrooms. Um. Oh! Whoa! That's too good to be true! No, it, it, it it's, it's... Whoa! Three of them? I got... <laughs> wow, that's a treasure! That's better than the Eye of Cthulhu fight. I got three heart crystals. It's like right next to each other. Bink, bink, and bink. Wow. I have almost half my health. Uh, I almost have my health doubled. Oh. Uh, I sent a trap. No, I don't. I always think, oh gosh, that's going to be a trap. Uh, I think I'm on the dungeon side. I like uh, digging in. Oh, another uh, chest. Magic mirror, hopefully. Okay, so get rid of these slimes, and there's could be a trap here, but there's not. Eh, sapphires. I don't have too many sapphires, I only have five. But yeah, down here... Oh great, another ice blade. Man, the one thing I didn't want, another ice blade. It'd be good if I was playing with multiple people. Newsflash, I'm not playing with multiple people. But yeah, ice blade is not an ice blade. Oh, uh, that's an ice trap. How many ice traps are here? Like, I usually just find one per world. I've th I found three so far. Wow, that's another ice trap. Kind of glad. And another life crystal. I don't have to hold the pressure plate because I have the uh, trap detecting potion. Oh, whoa, whoa, I almost just uh, fell into the ice trap. I would have really needed to uh, block myself off there. But eh, I think we hit a giant spider web mother load over here. Or just a regular spider. I think we hit a spider web. Well, that's good because I can get a bed. But yeah, there's going to be some uh, web crawlers in there. And they're pretty easy to take out with a yo yo. It's just that, you know, when you're swarming, when you're stuck in spider webs, they're not so easy to take out. That's why I'm still kind of alert. Nope, oh, uh, it's just not going to go down there. Here, I'm going to just build a little platform here. Look like there's not much over here. Just gonna occasionally drop down and see if there's anything. I'm kinda glad there's nothing here. Like, I know there's gonna be some web crawlers coming up soon, but not much right now. Dun 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 dun. So I need to lower down some rope. Oh, is that a web crawler? No, it's not. I need to lower some rope down. Where's my rope? Oh, there's my rope. Let's just replace the glow sticks with that. Because I need a quick way up when I'm collecting all these cobwebs. Oh, whoa, that's a guy right there. Okay, that's a web crawler. I don't wanna be near him. Okay. Beetle boss guy. Oh, 15 damage. That's a lot of damage for like a stupid beetle guy. Yeah, 65. I need uh, some, a pretty large amount of silk to make a bed. I might as well get 100. I'm not sure how much silk, but I know they nerfed it at one point. Wow, there's no web crawlers at all. That's pretty good. <laughs> not that I want any web crawlers, but still, I'm just kind of surprised how the lack of them. Okay, going down here is pretty dangerous, so yeah, I have 100 silk. Uh, Spiderweb, I'm gonna get myself out of here. Yeah. Uh, I only have one recall potion still, so. I'm gonna stick with the good old fashioned strategy of leaving the game. And even then. Investing in a mini shark is a good idea, which is why I have three gold. Nice investments. But the bows will suffice for the for Skeletron, at least in normal mode. But in expert mode, that might be a different story. And then the yo-yo. I saw I saw some guy doing a yo-yo run of the uh, Skeletron in uh, expert mode, and it seems like it was a really difficult battle. 
because he needed to use yo-yo on this giant arena when usually I just build a couple platforms and just call it a day. Like with the Eye of Cthulhu, for example. I just build a few platforms like, hey, that's an arena. I'm just kind of build across here. Oh, that's a guy. And an ice blade. But I guess that's enough. You just need more destruction. Oh, I guess that's enough. You just need to really want to die. Oh, no. I have to go venture into that water. Uh-oh. Uh that might have been a mistake. Okay, good thing I have rope. Okay, I have rope. No big deal. Also, these guys can't get me in the water. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... get to that, uh... dungeon, because... that means, okay, I dig here, but not there. Because until my... until I... Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh! Oh, just gently float down! Gently float down! Gently! Gently float down! Oh! Hello, people. Welcome back to uh, Geometry Dash. <laughs> Today, I'm going to travel over to the, the west. I'm going to travel to the west. I'm going straight to the west. I'm going to the, to the west. Yeah. Hey, a sandstorm. Oh, boy. These aren't that dangerous, actually. But what is dangerous is going down here. Which I kind of want to do. I just want to see what's down here. Oh, that's a tumbleweed guy. Ow. Whoa, okay. No, no, no. Screw this. Screw this. No, I'm not going there. I'm not going down there. Ugh. I just wasted one of my last recall potions. Oh, great. At least I, uh... At least I did that. Okay, I I think I'm not going down there. Okay, we got a water chest in like two feet, like two feet of water, and it gave me a breathing read. Water chest, two feet of water. Recall potions though, that's good. But water chest and two feet of water, and it gave me a breathing read. I'm not. Oh, I am drowning a little bit, but I'm not even really drowning in there. Well, I can see why. That's a lot of water since we're entering into the. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, lying in sleep tonight. Oh, in the jungle. So I extended the rope of my house because I had a few accidents, mainly involving me falling down, like, this entire length of the house and me almost dying. Just straight up fell the entire length of the house and almost died. But now that's not gonna happen. Because if I fall down, I just pick myself back up with these ropes, just like... Oh, it's a little hard getting in the house now, but... Wee bop! Yeah, I'm just gonna go over to the corruption now where I almost died. Uh, like, a few a few minutes ago, I almost just died there, but yeah. I'm just gonna, you know, go back there. No big deal. I have my Mary Poppins on me. So not only... Oh, not only did I get a, uh, a lazy musket, but I got another heart crystal and a meteorite fell. So I'm gonna get a better axe and stuff like that, but... I'm down here, mainly because I saw a life crystal on the map over here. Good news, guys, I got a blowpipe. We're all good to beat the game. <laughs> we're gonna beat the Moon Lord with a blowpipe, guys. I'm good. I think we're coming close to the dungeon over here. Oh, there it is. Pink dungeon. Hey, old man. Let's see what I can find in here. Okay, there's not even bookshelves. Okay, so you're pretty useless. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make myself a bed, and we're gonna end the episode. Oh, great, I can't fit in there. Because it's great to have the nurse next to the bed, because then, with that, you can, uh, you can spawn right where the nurse is. That's why I need to destroy this loom now. Actually, what I'm gonna do is put the sawmill in the merchant's room. No, I'm gonna put the loom in the arms dealer's room. It's serious business. So I also have. I'm gonna put the bed right next to where the nurse is. And set my spawn there and put a chest there or something. We got both the dryad. Oh, I, I wanted the. Uh, I wanted not the dryad. I wanted the uh, arms the explosive guy. Yeah. I'll see you next time on Terraria's solo hardcore adventure mode thing.